Last time on Of Dice and Dens. Fiznik was resurrected and the rest of you had a long night's sleep. Grin, take us to bacon. You find yourself surrounded by a fog. Like you can see hands reaching out, grabbing you swords, but then they kind of dissipate before they reach you. Yeah, we know that they are in fact magical fog hands. She saw their name. <laughs> I'll have Come a moons something. over my hammy, please. Loon over pigs because, uh, copyright. <laughs> Over the last several years, young women have disappeared. The uh, lord of the town, he, uh, he took some of our strongest men. They suspected that the uh, fortress on the mountains over there might have been the source of the fog, and only he came back. I'm <laughs> sure if you could lift the fog, any wealth we had would probably be bestowed upon you. Creepy fog, missing girls, a mysterious lord, and a clear mission. Will our heroes learn more about Blackpool? Let's find out now. to do this because I know we all had our own plans like you were going somewhere I mean <laughs> she was she was uh, leading the caravan to, I was literally like, which hired is now to, destroyed I was literally hired have, just to be so your guard so you screwed up yeah well I <laughs> wow, died harsh. almost wow harsh very harsh I was trying to fight the wolfies but um but that, it went bad so can you go back to your regiment I mean, I could, but being, like, uh, I do want to refresh you because I believe an outcast. No, did you? Would not did be you guys outcast. meet the innkeeper's daughter last time? No, she was probably in bed. You're what in am bed. I thinking? We're not gonna just go wake her up. We well, need to meet enough. you. <laughs> okay, so never mind. Okay, <coughs> that's really ominous, Dan. <coughs> I know. No, I'm just trying to remember if you met. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Or if they talked about Did it. you talk about to this important person? Oh, no. No, she's not important. I just wasn't sure if you met her. There, we haven't met mm -hmm. most people. But you were in the tavern, or the inn, I mean, so I wanted to make sure. But then again, the only one who would have I, is Grin anyway. I, I and you guys just, like, busted out of the, the inn. You didn't even... We were hungry. You barely even said goodbye. <laughs> we were hungry. Did any of you actually say goodbye? Yes. We said bye as we handed her each a silver. Oh, I have to mark up. Oh, yeah. No, that was the tavern, not the oh. inn. Well, we're going to go back. <laughs> okay. So what do you want to do now? I want to... Are you guys down for... I mean, I have Are you other, down better things. to clown? I have better do things you want to, do, to apparently... maybe investigate the town more before you start tracing off into a... Fort? Why? That's not... Hey, I'm DTF. Down to find... <laughs> find artifacts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Should we go get some healing elixirs? Or healing and elixirs? Well, you're a healer. Yeah, look how and well you don't I have any that. elixirs. I know. Okay, I want to go. A poor healer, I might say, says uh, the dead man. Tried, <laughs> formerly dead man. Right? Grin fixed you back up. Kind of. I know. So let's see, what number was that? Five? Grin's a saint. Yes. And this Team. is why I need money for all the elixirs to save you guys. So this is Blush Thorns Healing and Elixirs. Uh, the smell of herbs and incense fills the small cottage. To the left are a few cots designed to hold patients. The shopkeeper stands behind the counter, his moustache curled upward with his impossibly big smile. Oh. Ooh, I get to make a boisterous guy. Okay, what's his name? Blush Thorn. Let me get you his picture, shall we? That's what he looks like. Ooh. Damn. I'll pick him over the girl. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, current screen is you. I lost him. He's in the conversation. Don't lose him. With a slightly bigger no. nose, he could pass for um, Adam Driver. He is the shopkeeper and only resident of the cottage. Why do they all live in there? Oh, there I mean, because, because that's how it works in medieval times. Not always. What I'm saying is he's single. 
Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> How does he feel about chicks with four legs? <laughs> I guess you'll have to ask him. Welcome! Ooh. <laughs> Welcome to my shop. How may I help you? Never mind, you can have him. <laughs> you can start by taking chill pill, yeah. <laughs> I just don't get many visitors nowadays. It's nice to see a friendly face. (coughs) Or a pretty one. He looks at all the ladies. (laughs) And... The gnome. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) Is this a magic shop? Because you seem like a magician. You're too enthused for people to walk in the room. (laughs) Oh, wait. uh... Magic's not allowed. Never mind. Is this a finger painting shop? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Sir, I do not do magic. I do illusions. He takes out a deck of cards, starts shuffling it. That's not an illusion. That's just pick a card, any card. Uh, okay. Okay. Now look at it. Look at the number. Don't don't tell okay, me. Okay, it's the it Ace of Spades. Oh. You said it out loud. You have to show everyone. Oh, I can't see oh here, here, guys, look. It's the Ace of Spades. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Put it back in the deck. Put it back in the deck. All right, there you go. He shuffles it, he shuffles it, shuffles it. All right. And he pulls it out. Ace of spades. He says, is this your card? You knew that was my card. I said it out loud. How impressed And then he takes out be. another ace of spades. He says, is this your card? Oh, well, wait a minute. And another card. Is this your card? Wait. And then he shows you the whole deck and they're all ace of spades. He's like, illusion. You never just saw the ace of spades to begin with. Don't ever tell an illusion of secrets. Do you have any potions? I need your strongest potions. No, I need them. We're not selling potions. He You're selling potions. has potions of healing. Dungeon yeah. Master's Guide, page 187. Is potions of the Wazoo Network. Does anyone have that book available and ready in front of them, or do I need to open it up? Do you have anything for plaques arises? I oh. am out in the sun he, a lot. He uh, digs out this little, like, hemp uh, salve. It's like, try this, uh... Is this all going to be snake oil? Yes. Can I do no, a it's canna hemp. on it? It's hemp. Hemp, hemp mm. grease. Is that, a, is that allowed here? Not magic, <laughs> but we can... <laughs> you can do hemp. Yeah, they're not Idaho. You can have hemp there. Can I... Wait, is this a healing potion? Yeah, potion of one potion of healing. Can I check it somehow? Insight on it? <laughs> or perception? Are there samples? Medicine? Can I do a medicine check sure. on it? Sure. If it's snake oil... Four. Can someone else? Do it's a potion of healing. What is? What are we doing? Okay. She doesn't trust him. I don't. I know, but like he just did a fake. Magic I have a negative trick. two to medicine, so You're, yeah. Yeah. But what if he had crit? <laughs> crit. It was almost a sixteen, and it rolled over I to a three. Know, that's lame. <laughs> it's a potion of All healing. All right, I believe you. It smells familiar. You smell familiar. Not smell you familiar? <laughs> don't know. <laughs> Oh, oh, ew. <laughs> 20 gold. 20? I don't have that Holy much. Shit. Well, it says 50 to 100, so I'm giving you a bargain. I'm giving you a bargain. It says 50 to 100 <laughs> in my MSRP guide, but... <laughs> you look you look like a stalwart gentleman, and I figure... Gentleman? <laughs> Somebody's not a gentleman. You didn't say you were pretty, so... I've got four gold. <laughs> Do you take any sort of uh, barter? What are you offering me? Uh, I have a game set. <laughs> As do I. He pulls oh, out his cards and shuffles I've got them. a poorly wrought map. <laughs> uh, My friend think... here has a finger painting. <laughs> We're g- it's going to work one of these times. My refrigerator is full, right. so I'm afraid uh, I cannot put anything more on it. <laughs> I hold out a piece of jewelry that I have that says it's worth money. How much money? <laughs> I just said that was printed on the, <laughs> the jewelry. This, not, this jewelry is good for one money. <laughs> hey, is that the game? <laughs> Does it matter how much? <laughs> like, it's more. I I can almost get to how much you want. Why do can you? I, we let need me, just let, one potion. Let me ask you a question. What is your need for this potion? Is it for you to just head on down the road? We're gonna try to figure out the fog problem. 
We're going to try don't... to figure out the fog problem, she said in character voice. I'm not very high level yet. <laughs> I'm still learning. And we had an unfortunate death <laughs> the last <laughs> time. So we could use, like, the huh? potion. Wait, what happened? It doesn't matter. I died. It doesn't... How did you That's die? That's all that matters. What? Shh. Nope. Was it a wolf attack? It was somebody else we left. Yes. How many wolves? Uh, another friend. Six. Goodness, that seems like a deadly <laughs> encounter for your group. <laughs> Sounds like a, your god might have really fucked that up. <laughs> mm -hmm. That sounds like even if you had four wolves, that could have been deadly. <laughs> yes. Four contacts. Yes. All right. <laughs> what, would, what would it be worth to you if we could lift the fog? Yeah, yeah, and asking. <laughs> I would offer you each one free potion ahead of time. What? If you lift the fog. Otherwise, you owe me your ass. Well, then we'll be dead, probably. Exactly. <laughs> oh, how about if I think that's a wonderful uh, thing? Oh, wait, guys, I forgot. I got a punch card for this place. <laughs> oh, Did you get expired. a punch in the face? <laughs> You've been here before, good sir? Uh, what was your name? I might have you on file. Your branch and finger painting pin. Here's this thing. I found this in my pocket. Uh, I don't know if you know about me. I'm a memento guy. And what happens is, every time I wake up, like it's a long story. I, Wait, I don't every know this, time but... you wake up? So do you remember us? Yeah, I mean, it's just like different. Listen, it's hard to explain. Okay. There's an expired card. You, you, let's take your deal. I take your deal. Anybody else take his deal? Will... Yes. How about oh, I give fine. you this piece of jewelry worth 10 gold? No, you hold on to that. That is yours. You're too nice. I don't trust you. <laughs> I haven't had pretty Fishing. women in my shop in years. That bitch at the tavern never comes over here. <laughs> what? I wink. We I, I, wiggle, you two. <laughs> I wiggle my eyebrows. Wait, and so are you one of the witches she talked about that didn't go off the mountain? Uh, has he been here the whole time? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I've been here a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm a wuss. I'm a wuss. No, I was in charge of the healing. Um, I needed to be ready for them if they returned injured. Unfortunately, so how long has only magic one returned. Been banned. It's not banned. It's just don't do it. What happened? Or else we may all die. How is that enforced? Uh, you'll probably die. And knowing how stupid the people in this town are, you should probably keep that deck of cards hidden. <laughs> Did you notice the dust on my deck of cards? <laughs> you don't happen to have any decks of cards that you never pull cards out of, do you? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I have many things, but I do not have that deck. <laughs> I see what you did there, bro. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right. What was your name again? I didn't write it down. My name is uh, Bushthorn Immereld. Okay, that means you didn't tell me it's. <laughs> it's Bushthorn's healing and elixirs, which you did get told. That doesn't mean it's his name. Does that mean or that his the first woman name is the, the priestess is named Chapel and the smiling bandit is named Bandit? I work at Jared, but that's not my name. Mm. But it's not Jared's. <coughs> And Bob you aren't Burger. the only person who works there. You're Bob Burger. You're Bob Burger. Bob Burger. Bob Burger. Your name Bob. Your name's Bob Burger. Bob. Bob. That's not Bobby. Bob. That's not that Bobby. Sorry, right, Bobby. Bob. Blush. Bob. Bobby. Oh, Bobby. 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 Why do they call you for short? They don't. That's my name. What? Blushthorn. Blushthorn. Bushthorn. Blushthorn. That's an L. Blushthorn. Yes. Blushthorn. Blushthorn. Blush. Blushthorn. Bush fit. Don't I can't. say it like a heathen, not Blushthorn. <laughs> Blushthorn. Uh, uh. Blushthorn. Right. I'm ready to go. I know <laughs> some very nice heathens. You can just... Blushthorn. <laughs> Blushthorn made my head hurt. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, now what? I, I sit down on the ground mm. and hold my head. Because it hurts. <laughs> Yeah, I've got this healing potion for you. No. <laughs> it's it's a constant thing. It's fine. Let's I walk go. I walk back to the tavern momentarily to urinate in a corner. <laughs> oh, the bathroom. What are you doing? Get out of here. She chases after you with a broom. 
Why do all the cowboys always pee everywhere? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Alright, anywhere else you guys want to go? So there's the pants place. What's the steel hermit? Steel hermit is probably a smithy. It looks like, a, like, a, smithy. A, yeah, smithy. Looks like there's like a like a forge outside it on the map. That is an accurate statement. Does he yes, give away things is. for free? Should we just be going to everybody and see if we can get free stuff? Probably. That's what them? I would do. I mean, I got a, I've got I've got my sword, my shield, and I am confident this potion will keep me alive. How are your shoes? I don't wear shoes. I'm a horse. You don't wear horseshoes? They're good. <laughs> you have to hammer those in. That's creepy. <laughs> Who does Maybe it hurt. Maybe it what, feels nice, like acupuncture. I don't know. Do, would a centaur wear horseshoes? I would think they'd wear, because, like, probably, like, rubber things or well, something. Well, you'd have like to wear something. I would think you'd have... You're, if, like, I think you'd just have boots that are horse time. hoof-shaped. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. Because the reason they do that is so that they're... Hooves don't crack uh -huh. when they're using them so, all the time. But, like, wild horses don't have that. And that's only no, because the horse is riding them. Oh, that's true. But yeah. nobody's riding me either. Yeah, but I bet wild horses get Are you sure chill about out that? If you're in yeah. the military. Yeah, a conversation about that. Yeah, yeah there's, there's gonna Plus, you've invited each of us to ride oh, on you. That's <laughs> true. I, I like Dan's idea of, like, like. It's more like, like you've got, like, military <laughs> boots, but they're hoof shaped. Yes. And they protect my ankles so they don't break, so I don't have to get shot. Exactly. <laughs> they got like yeah, they got like metal splints that go up the length. Steel-toed right. horseshoes. So we're by the smiling bandit because because cowboy had to pee. Uh -huh. so I'm just go. back. Let's, I just got back. Let's go. Over. Where are we? We've already gone to the chapel. And, and we're gonna get okay. Mad. Let's go to eleven, the sewing shop. Okay, so that's like. Oh, I guess we just walked in. Bad drawing of a horse <laughs> foot. But... Are you just singing to yourself? Because <laughs> Nick, you want to take your pants off and get them cleaned? <laughs> As you walk toward the shop door, you see a sign that reads, Soon to be closed. Oh. Inside, there are bare mannequins and empty hooks as much of the inventory is packed into wooden boxes. A young man is folding up blouses and stuffing them into a case. Oh. We hear you're about to be leaving, Sir Taylor. No, don't get me started on that. I'm just going to wait Actually, outside. Actually, we need, There's nothing we in need there. to get started on that. <laughs> I did not grow up here, and I used to be a traveling salesman. He's putting shit in boxes and just ranting. He's saying he's just kind of you, you, you unplug the cork, and now <laughs> um, he's just ranting because no one else is listening to yep. him. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I was the traveling salesman. I had a converted horse-drawn carriage, and I took it from town to town. I made tons of money, and then one day I came here, and it was a Beautiful, prosperous town. Tons of people, lots of fun, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna sell my carriage and I'm just gonna settle down here. What a fool I was! Became to, became to, uh, began struggling after the fog appeared and no one comes here anymore. No one wants new pants because they're all dying. Excuse me, sir. I would like some new pants. <laughs> Give me one second. <laughs> and of course, after Lord Darwin returned and Spends all his time in the meeting house. It's gotten it's, worse and worse. It's Draven. I wrote it down. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I don't even give a shit. I regret even Wait. coming here. Wasted some of the best years of my life trying to establish trade in a dead podunk town. You know how hard it is to leave when your house doesn't have wheels? It's hard. Yeah, especially when you aren't making money. <sighs> if, if, if things don't get better, there's just, there's just no way. I, 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 I'm, I gotta get out of here. I tried to find someone to buy this place, but try selling a fucking house in a dead town. Doesn't happen. So I'm just saying, fuck it, I'm out. Good luck, everyone. So Have you tried bringing in food trucks or other things white people get excited about? Because then... <laughs> no one even wants to come. No one will drive their truck in here. I am over it. I am done. You, you lost your toucan? Your toucan? I lost it. It flew off away. My ability to can is gone. In a week, I am out. So, 
how much would it be worth to you if we got the fog lifted and brought it the <sighs> prosperity back? You know, everyone else has tried that. Lord Sounds Draven lost a dozen, like half a dozen tried. people. <sighs> I'm most... not in the room, so I'm going to Okay, <laughs> but that's... I don't understand why we didn't offer to do this for our breakfast, because we could have gotten free breakfast, too. Like, we could have just done it up today. <laughs> you know we're probably going to have to sleep one more night. Or one All right. Day. <laughs> Plus, she was mad at us because <laughs> we shit all over her room. <laughs> I'm, just, room. I'm going back on my cart, and I'm just going to go town to town again. I'm out. Well, I mean, it's going to take a lot. For, and you said you have a week to pack. Yeah, it's going to take me about a week to get all my shit together. So, if we could manage something, what would that be worth to you? Well, I mean, it's going to take time before I'm making money again, but you lift the fog and I'm sure we could work to get this town back the way it was. You, you know, think? since this is all sort of up to chance, I'm wondering, what happens if we don't? What are you going to do to us? Because we're going to have a lot of people we're going to be in debt to if, if, if we don't lift it. I'm just saying. I'm just... What are they going to do I'm, to us I'm if not, we're dead? You know, I'm not... <laughs> if, if you see... You know what? Maybe I'll give you a cut of my profits in the first year. I don't know. But mm. if you don't, I'm out. If he, I got. I, I, no, all right. If we no. fail, he's leaving. It's not. I have literally no investment in what happens to you the rest of your life. So yeah, that's fine. you know what? And I have no investment in you and what you do here either. But if you how about succeed... free pants though? <laughs> For pants, I haven't she... sold pants in like three months. You have like a pair. Can you turn those shirts into blouses or whatever into a pair no, of I'm pants? No, I'm saying I have buddy? pants, but what you're asking me you is know, to give you something free after I haven't even made money in three months. Ah, uh, but but have you seen my friend's finger paintings? <laughs> I, I have finger not. Painting. Wait, what was your name? Oh, uh, you didn't ask, and I didn't uh. say. <laughs> what is your name? I am Mon Monitin Vein Vaz. <laughs> I, wow. I remember Sorry? everything. Can you spell that? <laughs> M-O-N-E-T-N-V-A-I-N space Vaz. Can you spell that? Vaz. V-A-Z. Alright. As, right. as is Zed backwards. So, so... Mr. Zed. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you don't have pants, do you have a very short skirt? Something I like... have pants. <laughs> <laughs> that box labeled pants and the one underneath it labeled pants. Those are pants. So how much? I have no money. <laughs> how about silver for a pair of pants for our poop smelling gentleman here? Which one is it? I mean, it's right now it's just a meow. <laughs> the gnome. Oh, kids pants are like a silver. All right. Silver. <laughs> I throw him a pair of and kids' then, job purse. Well, That's what was on top. So right here I wrote first year half the profits. I said maybe. We'll talk about it. Well, um, we could just wait a week. Me too. Yeah, and then if we bring this town back from the precipice, like, then we'll have that talk. On then we're all getting together and starting our own clothing shop, and yep. there's going to be a sitcom about us. Yes. It's going to be really Well, fun. good. There'll be an empty space for you to move into. Thanks for listening to episode five of, of Dice and Dens. It's been kind of fun hearing these guys learn about the town, introduce themselves to the NPCs and get to know the NPCs, and honestly, kind of getting to know themselves. This uh, module is called Fog Over Blackpool. I got it off DM's Guild, written by Seth Tomlinson. And this is supposed to be an introductory adventure and maybe even a... Uh, sort of a, a starter town but with the way these guys are behaving I don't know if they're going to be allowed to stay Of Dice and Dens is part of the Stolen Dress podcast network that includes other podcasts like Comedy on Vinyl where Jay has guests on and they discuss uh, basically Comedy on Vinyl and what makes it makes them tick and all that jazz uh, there's What's With You Scooby Doo with Nick Robes, where they talk about different episodes of Scooby-Doo and just basically shoot the shit. Dispatches from Fort Awesome is a podcast where they talk about news radio. The Dan J's Comedy Hour podcast is a podcast with Jay and I where we talk about comedy we did as kids and just basically shoot the shit. Uh, you can find this at stolendress.com. You can find us at odndpodcast.com. 
at us on Twitter at ODND Pod. Find us on Facebook on ODND Podcast. You can email us at ODNDPod at gmail.com. And again, the music is by Kevin McLeod at Incompetech.com and was used under Creative Commons Attribution License. Now, back to the action. We got nothing from this guy. <laughs> Next. We got pants from this guy. <laughs> I paid true. for your pants from this guy. <laughs> All right. Jewels and precious items. I don't know if we're going to get anything from this guy. <laughs> I need to point out for the record, my lizard, Daisy, is burrowing under a futon cover at the moment <laughs> and sniffing a remote control. Oh, I forgot to show you what Vaughn Are you guys like. done with going door to door? Because this isn't working. Uh, yeah, you just like... haven't gone to the right places yet. Uh, well, let's go. Well, then let's go to the right place. There's a bakery. I think Is it lunchtime yet? Let's go to the bakery. Here's mm. what uh, Montan and Vaz looked like. Oh, gosh. Is not I wish I was he was David Bowie. Yeah. I was not picturing him. I was picturing the crazy uncle who's on the ceiling and oh. <laughs> Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> I love to laugh. He does I don't have any laugh. pants for you today, but if you come back Tuesday, I'll give you some pants. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's go to the... <coughs> Hornets, jewels, and precious items? Is that where you want to go, or where was it? Yeah. It's next door. <coughs> is it? Oh, it is. And then we'll go to the bakery for lunch. <laughs> What's the Sony shop? If it, anyone else has a preference. What's playing the... at the cinema? I don't know where the map is. Can you send me this map DM? Yeah, I, I didn't realize that it didn't, <laughs> didn't have a new... Uh, <laughs> It started a new chat, so it didn't. Oh, that you know. Ooh, I so want to go on the teacup ride. Where's the teacup ride? <laughs> mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Wooden wares and carpentry, barracks, steel hammer, chapel, semen shoppy. Semen shoppy? What? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so you go to Torton's Jewels and Precious. I know, Tor, Tortson's mm. Jewels and Precious Items. Yep. Sorry, they have a typo here, and I think they had a typo over there, too. Um, this little shop sparkles with gems and precious metals. <clears throat> An old woman cleans a display case with a feather duster. She introduces herself as Marma. Marmara. Marmara. Hi, Marmara. Like Barbara, but Marmara. Where's Tortson? Which one is Tortson? I want to know who's Tortson. Her husband is a jeweler. She'll fetch right. him straight away. I'll fetch right. him straight away. She, her dentures that keep falling out. Hmm. Again, I'm waiting outside because there's fans. Mar- 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 You'd be like a, a centaur in a china shop. Yep. Green Basically, water. Navia doesn't care anymore. She's like, I just want to go and start hitting stuff with my stuff. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> to the back to fetch her husband. <clears throat> uh, and he comes out front, I guess. <clears throat> He's an older man. Well, let me get you your pictures here. Yes, thank you. I can't. I can't without a photograph <laughs> or drawing. I can't without a picture. So here's Marmar. Looks like that. Oh, oh. Looks like her, Helen Mirren. That was what I was thinking. Yeah. And <clears throat> if she was a sea goddess, she doesn't look like that voice she gave. Though. Oops, that doesn't work because it's full screen. That what she gave now? The voice he gave. He's not matching oh. those voices. And Tortson. And I think I uploaded the big map. And that he looks again. like... Oh, you know who he looks like? In in The NeverEnding Story, the little, like, guy who's, like, studying the sphinxes? Oh, yeah. After this, guys, I want to head up to the library. Okay. Just throwing that out there now. You won't get you won't get an argument on Aries. About that is a really can no. First, let's go get something from the bakery, and then we'll walk all the way across. The I had to crop this because there was a thief getting ready to murder him in the picture. Oh. <laughs> but I really like this picture of. Welcome to my shop. How may I help you? I'm outside. So, so we're new to you know. town. Yes, that's sad, isn't it? And it's kind of disturbing what you guys live under. Oh, the fog. Yeah. How has it affected business? Oh, I don't know what everyone else is complaining about. I am just doing awesome. Really? How? Yes. Well, uh, I export most of my stuff to the large cities, and uh, 
That makes sense. Yeah, and uh, you, you know. probably don't get robbed much. The fog probably is a good security Are you... system. Is that a threat? No. Oh, are you threatening me? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think why you would want to live. Why do you enjoy living at a place where young women are continuously abducted? He looks over at his wife. Not too concerned. <laughs> so do you two have any children? No. No wonder. <laughs> These are my children. And he points to all the jewelry he's made. I don't like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you need anything? Nope. <clears throat> <laughs> Do you have any jewelry that says how much it's worth on it? Because we, we kind of like to buy things with that. Uh, well, I mean, they all have prices on them. I want it emblazoned or engraved or stamped onto it. <laughs> well, I've got over, over here is my price collection. Uh, all mm. of them are listed with prices. None of them are worth the price listed. Well, hey, okay, mine that's isn't worth that. <laughs> I'm outside of Navia. <laughs> <laughs> This is a gold quarter. This is a platinum <laughs> penny. <laughs> Are you interested, sir? Uh, no, I'm just going to stand here and drink a little bit of whiskey out of this flask and just look around. <laughs> Very well, and he leaves and goes back into the back room. All right. I'm just going to find a corner here real quick. Whiskey goes right through corner. me. What are you doing in my corner? She chases after you with a, a broom. Feather and her feather I guess duster. I, I leave. All right. <laughs> we can burn that place down. So I guess uh, this whole thing of this baby being your base of operations, because you get to know all the NPCs. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess we met almost every NPC. No, you haven't come, come close to meeting every NPC, but every girl. time you meet an NPC, you get come closer <laughs> and closer to not being able to stay in this town anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go over to the homemade bear bakery. Oh my god. I want something to eat before Yeah, it's we like getting noonish now. Library. It's been a long day. <laughs> Navi is just like dragging her poops like, come We could have split Wait, the party the, a long what time What number ago. is the bakery again? Well, if you split the party, it's I'm going right to go start stabbing 14. stuff. It's right by where? It's right by 14. Oh yeah, it's right across the street. Told you. I want some sort of almond danish. <clears throat> so let's see, that's 14. Do, do, do. The Homemade Bear Bakery and Grocer. It's probably run just... by Homemade Bear is his name. Um. <laughs> you're... <laughs> Shut up. Um, you're probably just hangry, Navia. Fine, I will have a scone and some <laughs> elderberry water. Do you know it? <laughs> is that like smart water? <laughs> yes. So like elder or not smart juice. water. Elder flower juice, Power that's aid. what I meant to say. He, uh, <laughs> he looks like a basketball player. Right? What is happening? Looks like, what's his name from Maroon 5? <laughs> <laughs> the smell. Oh, God. The smell. A freshly baked bread fills the room. The entire shop is filled with a slight haze. Clouds of flour and sugar. You can see a teenage boy kneading dough on a table while a middle-aged bald man greets you from behind the store counter. So here's the other that's one. My, Did I get a that's my microphone. I, I was going to say, what was that? Here's, here's the kid doing the dough. Oh my huh. god. <laughs> Is he having an affair with this, the tailor? <laughs> Probably. Um, I say we kill him. Does the, su the smell make uh, Navia a little less cranky? I don't know. That's Navia. Um, roll to be less cranky. I rolled a fourteen to be less cranky. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty less cranky. What's the what's the what's the check though? Yeah, know. you tell me. Is it a hard check? You have to tell me how your tummy is oh, or how know. your crank is. Hmm. Uh, my stabbing <laughs> hand is cranky. <laughs> well, then you my know. cranking hand is stabby. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the cowboy's like catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> Do I even have a stabbing weapon? I must. Do I have to? Yeah, matter. I have a dagger. Did you see that I gave you El Cabong on your character sheet? Well, I did not see that. Wait, where is that? <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Might not be on the one you have. But yeah, I did El Cabong so that way you could, if you want to, you could use your guitar. Do they make, <laughs> do they make sandwiches here? Do they make? What do they make? I mean, what can we order for lunch? 
The shop can fulfill the dietary needs of any adventurer. Damn straight. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to Panera. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Panera, okay, guys. It's a Panera. It's a Panera. And bread and salami and beer and bread and a roll and a salad and more beer. <laughs> and some chips. And whatever everybody else wants. That sounds like you're at 25 gold already. <laughs> it is Panera. <laughs> <laughs> so he right. greets you. Okay, sorry. Welcome to the shop. All right. We order our food. Hey man, what do you guys got to eat? Hi, I'm an hey. NPC. Hey, welcome up, to the Munchland. Munchland. Oh, cool. Cool. <laughs> Neat. No. What's the Wi-Fi password? <laughs> it's homemade bear, <laughs> but it's spelled uh, B-A-R-A. Just <laughs> screw it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Well, well, welcome to the homemade bear bakery. Uh, my name is uh, Lyle Davin. I am the owner and no, it's not. proprietor of the shop. We would like some lunch. Yeah. Well, what would you like? What, do you just guess what our dietary <laughs> needs are? That, like a I galaxy think that's quest? What the would you like? Are. I've got uh, broccoli and cheddar soup, um, chicken frontega. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds delicious. Your basic ham and cheese sandwich. You just need a loaf of bread. I don't know. So we order our food. We just eat mm -hmm. food. And then insert food into okay. your mouth. That'll be 10 silver. So mm -hmm. how is your... As he's making food. Okay. Eat uh, together though, right? Or each. Together. Together. Oh. So yeah. Look, you, you, did, you didn't order two. it separate. Did you need, do you need me to split the bill? Yes, please. <laughs> so that's two each? How much... Did, What's the tipping average here? <laughs> it's it's, it's pseudo-Europe. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, thank God. Alright. So, how long have you been in here? Lionel? Uh, my whole life. So, have you been disturbed by this new magic fog? Well, yes. I miss my brother. Your brother? Oh, oh brother. you're one of the wuss I'm men. <laughs> Lionel Darwin. Darwin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know, of the Darwin Darwins. I heard it <laughs> said it was Draven at one point. Are you yeah. sure you got that right? Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. So, are you sure you didn't like? Oh, it's that 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 uh, uh, Taylor always butchers our name. I think he's not from so around He's a Taylor, yet. not a butcher. <laughs> Just kind of so. Like Looks up we need to find there. the candlestick maker. Yeah. <laughs> We've now talked to changing this in my the notes to Darwin. Pretty sure he's a Draven, but whatever. I'll just call him Darwin. I'll call him Dreidel. <laughs> so you miss your brother? Yes. He, he never comes around anymore. When's the last time you actually saw him? Basically, You're getting... uh, I saw him when he came home five years ago and... Uh, that's the last I ever spoke to him. We used to be very close. Uh, How do you all know he's still alive? Because he does have appearance. You know, like you can go to the court oh, okay. and see him sitting on the uh, at at the head of the table. I mean, he's there, and he does come out on occasion, but he's not come to talk to me. Oh. I've wished that, you know, he would come and tell me of his troubles to. You know, what, why is he locking himself away? Um, but after five years, I'm not sure he's ever going to. That's so sad. Mm hmm Is there any chance to you look anything alike? Could we prince and pauper this thing? I just want to know. I want to get that out of the way. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, unfortunately... I mean, it's, it's less prince and pauper and more a man in the iron mask. Mm -hmm. uh, Very much looks so. nothing like my brother. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> what about if we add a mustache? <laughs> And thicken up his eyebrows? Yeah. <laughs> or thin them out if he's anything mm. like your son. He Fair. needs to be on fleek. He does not have a mustache, so that would actually cause a bit of a problem. Mm. <laughs> you you aren't actually considering this, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... I'm, I'm friendly, okay? <laughs> like, I'm just throwing spaghetti at the wall, okay? Mm, I like spaghetti. <laughs> um... I might mention the strange fact 
<laughs> no, um, I never see my I never see him out in the day. He's always out at night <gasps> talking to Cora or the guards in the Cora. square. Who's Cora? His uh, second in command. Oh, a woman. Hashtag feminism. <laughs> or is that you don't know if C O H R A is a feminine name, do you? Oh. That is sounds it? sexist. <laughs> I mean, it is, but I'm just saying you didn't know that. It's like a girl's name from like a show or a movie or whatever. Yeah, Legend of Korra. There it is. Completely different spelling. Your mom's a completely different K -O -R -R -A -H. spelling. K O R R A H. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing at all. <laughs> <clears throat> so, do you have any clout with him? I know you haven't seen him in a while, but is there a way you could help us? talk to him and offer our help in this problem you your town is facing and has it been solved in five years yeah like seriously guys yeah you just like all sitting around and being like this sucks this is too bad this is bad what's nine women yeah <laughs> that's like feminism. Pretty, talk about <laughs> yeah talk about <laughs> sexist i just he doesn't seem like the same man he was before and he doesn't talk to me anymore, so I'm not sure I'd have any more in than you would. Do you have a suggestion for how do we could... I mean, if you talk to maybe Korra or one of the gods or something, maybe you can get them, you know, get a, a, a meeting with him. I mean, he mm -hmm. does sit at the meeting house. Talking to guards, that's why this one is a Viking. Yeah, what up? She's a centaur. Oh, sorry. Vikings can be centaurs. <laughs> hashtag specious. Mm -hmm. Hashtag PCism. Yes, all centaurs. <laughs> well, this this food was delicious. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yummy, Can yummy. I have a baguette oh, to yummy. put in my satchel. <laughs> <laughs> that would be another uh, silver. Okay. okay. Well, now I'm sad, you guys. So, and by the way, the whole time you're sitting there, you could see like his son's just kind of got a kind of a meek, fearful demeanor. Oh, baby. Not according to that picture. He looks kind of... <laughs> looks like an Instagram influencer. Yeah, right? That's what he could be if it wasn't for the fog. Oh, I see. What does he actually look like? Gollum? Yeah. <laughs> My precious black. <laughs> or PETA. <laughs> P-I-T-A or... P-E-E-T-I-T-A. Because I was making a bread joke. I know. I think that's why <laughs> she named him that. Okay, Next. Well, are we going to talk to the boy? He's just doing his work. He's keeping his head down. He's just sad. To talk yeah. to him. Okay. Um, oh, where can we find Cora? At the barracks? She's at the meeting house. She <coughs> told you! I told you she's a woman! It just is. saying you made an assumption that may not have been correct. It was, but it couldn't. might not have been. That's why it's sexist. That's kind of... Oh, wait. <sighs> you guys, we oh. should split the party. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two of you, or some, somebody should go to the library with Fesnick, Fesnick, and some of you should talk to Cora. I want to go to the Cora place. I was going to say, I hope you go to Cora. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I got a wisdom of seven. I don't need no book learning. Or do you want to just, should we just stop at the my, barracks on the way to the library? My intellect. I, I want to stand in the middle of the road and threaten to punch the fog and see what happens. <laughs> You go ahead and do the that. The fog kills you. It's a level 40 fog. Shit. Mm. Fog is mm. usually not over 11. I just I said know, I wanted right? to threaten it. That's all I said. I didn't yeah, say but it's, it's, it, you, you aggroed. You <laughs> aggroed this, the fog. Mm -hmm. And it took you out. And it went really mm. badly. Well, I said I wanted to threaten it. I didn't say I did. Backtrack <laughs> <laughs> it. <laughs> All right. Well, Look at these goalposts. They move Jeff, a lot. Do you, <laughs> Jeff, did you want to separate or do you want to stop the barracks on the way? That was someone yeah. kicking the table. Knock it off. Sorry, guys. Well, let's ask this question. If we split up, would anybody come with me to Let the me lighter? answer the unasked question. I'll go with you. Or Yes, I do roll dice every time you move between buildings. Why would that ever be an asked question? <laughs> I'll go with you, or yeah. All right. Anybody else? 
I'm going to talk to what's your tits. Okay. Grand, where are you going? Um, I'm gonna go talk to the guard. Okay. Okay. So wait, who's going where? Well, it sounds like the cowboy's gonna stand in the middle of the road and, <laughs> and yell at the sky like <laughs> Grandpa Simpson. <laughs> Um, I guess I'll go to Cora if okay, I have this, to. This Nick and I are going to. to the library. I don't think they're going to welcome me back in the bar. I just want to go drink. Hello, <laughs> library. And then everyone else. Everyone else. Meeting house. Okay. So we'll do uh, Fiznik and Eloshana. Okay. I kiss everyone goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and I walk away like holding hands. Yes. And skipping. Yeah. And skipping <laughs> through the forest. How tall is Fiznik again? Three feet tall or something and like that. How tall that. is Elishana again? I don't know. I just want to picture this. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's giving a piggyback. That's right. what I was going to say. I feel like it's more of a piggyback right type situation. I don't have a is Nick, it, yeah, is right at three feet high. Five, five, I don't know. Okay. So the the cleric and the uh, uh, warlock are on the other side of town from the uh, the rest of the crew. Else. Who's yes. all going to the soldiers who could kick their ass? Yep. All right, so... If they recognize my rank, um, I am... Uh... Kick their ass? I have a military rank for my career as a soldier. Soldiers loyal to my former military organization still recognize my authority and influence. That probably doesn't apply. Mm -hmm. I can invoke my rank to influence soldiers and temporarily requisition simple equipment or horses. I can usually gain access to friendly military equipments and fortresses where my rank <laughs> is recognized. We don't need any horse. <laughs> so if they recognize my rank, they should let me in. Okay, so you enter the place. The library? Library. Library. Are we just here to feed your like addiction to mystery novels? Yes. As you enter the quaint shop, your senses are briefly overcome by the smell of damp and rotting wood. Yeah. There is water damage all along the floorboards and the plaster walls are crumbling at the bottom. Oh, Black mold is showing through the cracks. <gasps> Disorganized shelves hold ancient books and scrolls. There are several glass display cases holding all kinds of curious artifacts. An older woman with a dis dis disheveled oh. hair stands disheveled? behind. It's disheveled. It's either heveled or not. <laughs> uh, stands behind the counter. She greets you with a friendly smile. All right. Uh... You've come to my shop. My name is Dagmar Sesto. It's a shop or a <laughs> library? Well, both. I mean, I sell and loan. Oh. Do you have any histories on the area? Uh, I don't. I don't know that I have too many useful books, but <laughs> I do have a lot okay. of knowledge of my own. Ooh. If you would Ooh. like to know oh, about her. anything, a lord who returned alone after a failed attack on a keep and is now rarely seen. The mystery deepens next time on of Dice and Dens, a D and D podcast. <laughs>